We're going to follow the cutting and polishing of a plus 200 carat rough diamond through an ultra-modern high-tech factory in Surat, India, where 90% of the world's diamonds are cut and polished in this one city. This building is solar-powered and very eco-friendly. The people who work in it are largely very well educated. The first part of this process is the colour of the diamond, which is assessed with various types of spectroscopic analysis. Now, the diamond looks brown to you, but in fact, that is just a surface skin. It's a decoloured diamond um, throughout the centre of the stone. Next, we're going to scan the rough diamond to make a three-dimensional model. Now, this scanner here that you see is the one we have in our Canterbury store. Now you can see the three-dimensional model has been built so that we can then go to the process of working out where the inclusions are in the diamond. The rough diamond is being held in that little apparatus. It's been inserted into a furnace and inside the furnace each one of these rough diamonds is having a liquid glass poured in. And now we're opening up our little box and inside here is a black ice cube. Now that black ice cube is a glass which is transparent to infrared light. The plotting of the inclusions is done with software that I have been part of the development of. So you can see Ideal Scope Proprietary Limited on that patent document, US patent, there are European patents too. Now, the diamond is being analysed under a microscope with very high power, around 120, and what we're looking for is the inclusions. You could see that from the patent. So each of the inclusions is plotted, and as you can see, there are hundreds of them. This would take a couple of weeks to do on a 90 carat diamond with lots of inclusions. So the 33 diamonds that are going to be cut out of this are planned using ideal scopes. You can see the ideal scope picture there on the screen. My invention is included in this complex software. Now here we have this amazingly complex plan where the diamonds are being planned and arranged with many, many combinations that fail. And now we've got the prices and the colors of the final diamonds. Um, you can see that they're ranging from G to J. So this complex mess now has to be laser sawn. And the laser sawing process itself is quite amazing too. So they have to work out how they can cut each one of the diamonds out without damaging a nearby stone. So it's a very complex process on such a big, complex diamond. The two largest diamonds here of the 33 that we have sawn off with the laser are both over 30 carats. So you can see this is a pretty big operation, a very valuable rough diamond. And now we're shaping one of the diamonds. It's a cushion shape and there's a diamond abrasive wheel and this is a lathe that moves back and forward and in and out. Um, it's operating under water and this machine is a similar process which is roughly shaping the bottom facets of a diamond and now the eight main facets are being polished and you'll notice that everything is done here with computers. So the polisher can see each and every facet angle and its azimuth, north, south, east, west. And so while he's doing these eight main facets on the crown and the pavilion, he's checking to see that the polish is of a high quality on a device that was made in Belgium. Um, it's called Avalon. And as you can see, every step of this process, of this very complex process, is done with a computer screen. So these guys don't have a computer screen because all they're doing is adding the brilliant tiered facets which join up the main facets. So they're splitting every of the, one of the main facets and just joining them up. Now the polished diamond is scanned on a helium scanner, the sort that we have here in our Canterbury store. And 
All of the facet angles uh, can be measured very, very accurately. There's our device. And so there is a lens on the right hand side and the diamond turns around and this model is built, which can be entered into GIA's grading system to see what GIA will give the diamond for its cut quality. The clarity is assessed using an HRD, a Belgian organization's microscope. And now we get to the fun part because this is a device that uh, I built the prototypes here in Melbourne for. And these little bowls and samples of these bowls are inside that black box, kidney shaped box. Um, and so each one of these processes takes a photograph and those photographs are automatically uploaded to business to business trading platforms. Now we're making a video of the diamond so again, this device was built, the first prototypes were, were tested and the lighting environment was established here in our Canterbury store upstairs. There's my prototype system and there's a patent that I lodged and was granted in USA for a type of lighting where we get very high contrast through the black and the white. And now we have Vibox videos made of the two largest diamonds, the plus 30 carat diamonds, from the original rough. And these videos are made with still 200 still photos strung together. Next, we're going to see the type of videos that we use for inclusions. So when I'm buying diamonds, I get videos of this quality so that I can actually identify whether the inclusions are visible or not. Intimate knowledge of all these processes helps me enormously buying diamonds. I can buy diamonds using all of these technologies better than I can if I have the diamonds sitting in front of me. And the fact that so many big diamond cutting companies have taken up all of my technologies is a wonderful thing. I'm very proud that we've been able to achieve so much here in Melbourne.